As I have announced on the forum, the ground construction gradually becomes global construction and we go to orbit. Uh, to that effect, uh, as the first piece of the puzzle, I am adding the ability to assemble new die kits in orbit. And for that I have made two new parts. First is this orbital assembly line. You saw it on the sketch and it haven't changed much. Hasn't changed much. Uh, the second is the separate assembly space. Uh, it's a separate part because you may wish to put it somewhere far away from the assembly line in your station or more importantly you may include several of assembly spaces into one station uh, which will allow you to assemble several kits one after the other well and uh, in theory someone maybe me maybe someone else may make uh, several variants of assembly space several sizes for example but for now it's only two these parts uh, the whole thing works exactly like the ground variant so we have uh, the requirement for machinery 100 units uh, to assemble new die kit we use specialized parts uh, the assembly space has two converters one that makes specialized parts from material kits and another that uh, produces machinery from both material kits and specialized parts that's in order to be able to cons to make a kit with the new assembly line, then construct it, then fill it with machinery required for it to work. Then, of course, you need Kerbal engineers on board. We have four of them here. This thing has a ladder, an airlock, oh, everything you need. Otherwise, the interface is exactly the same. You choose some, something to put into the new kit. We add it. To the assembly line we start the construction and now you see this whole thing has moved to the assembly space and we time warp to the end of construction okay and now course we release the new kit and see what happens next. So the doors of the assembly line has opened and the kit is there and as you can see it slowly moves away from it but it won't be moving any further than than that well a little bit but no further uh, because the assembly space uh, is equipped with well well something sort of a smart magnet it's the module that dumps kit's velocity and at the same time 
pulls it uh, towards the center of the mouth of the assembly space. This is to allow you easier docking with the kit, with the container, to transport it somewhere else. Because without such uh, cheaty technology, uh, it would be a hell to dock with this thing that has no reaction wheel, no, no anything. One slight push and it uh, goes spinning and spinning and spinning and you'll never ever catch it again. So we have this magnet which allows us to make things interesting like this. For example, so you see the the container moves. It isn't pinned to the assembly space, but it doesn't escape either. And when when the assembly space stops spinning and moving. The kit slowly, slowly pulled towards its center. Pretty handy. Now let's let's talk with it. And transport it somewhere. Here we are. So the good thing is that the container is now docked to the space crane and as part of it is still inside the assembly space, it's still immobilized along with the space crane. To move it away, we have to use some, well, some force. And as soon as I stop, you see it's slowly, slowly pulled inside again. A 
funny thing though is that if I push the space crane inside well I don't know if I can I'll try. There you go. Nothing happens. Not every part is susceptible to this to this magnet. in orbit you need to be able to construct them there otherwise I don't know how you are going to put in orbit some something like this anyway thanks for watching and be patient I'm planning to finish this work during the summer mm, I hope won't take me the whole summer, but you never know.